Hi everyone, good afternoon. So today I'm going to play some Humankind uh, to check out uh, the new DLC, the new update. And for anyone who missed it, uh, there was a free Bolivar update. And on top of that, there's also uh, a new DLC with cultures of Latin America. Uh, I had a whole separate video about what's new in Bolivar update. Uh, a lot of quality of life changes. So I want to check that out. So uh, let's get into it, shall we? Now this is mostly just to check what's new. Uh, I don't want to go too crazy with this. So let's see. I think normal is fine. Uh, Pangea is fine. Uh, there is a new setting for luxury resource distribution. So they're spread natural and clustered. Uh, let's go with natural. I don't think I want clustered. Uh, this looks fine. Hey everyone in chat. Normal pace. Uh, there's also a new setting uh, to ignore pollution effects. So we're going to use that. I wasn't really a big fan of how pollution works, to be honest. So we're going to have that off. Especially the game just like randomly ending because of pollution. I really didn't like that so much. And I think Empire is fine. Like I said, I don't want to go too crazy with this. Uh, yeah, looking good. And of course, I'm playing as myself. All right, let's go. Hey, Milamber. Uh, that's all right. Have a nice weekend. Uh, all right, so let's see. Looks like we're going north. Now, a lot of the changes in Bolivar update uh, are definitely good. A lot of uh, positive quality of life changes. I think my biggest complaint about the game, and this might be just me, I don't know, uh, but my biggest complaint is something that's kind of integral to game's design and likely isn't going to change. And it's the fact there's basically just one victory condition, which is score or fame, if you want to call it that, but it's basically score. So you can't really win while being an underdog right until the end. And winning as an underdog right until the end uh, were some of the most fun Civ games I had. So I'm a little bit sad it's not really possible in Humankind. Not in the same sense anyway. Uh, all right, so every natural wonder now has its own effect. And there are a bunch of new ones in the DLC, I think. A plus 10 stability on a city or outpost. Science on research quarter and influence on research quarter. Uh, okay, that's pretty nice. And uh, speaking of Civ, I already have uh, the map uh, for the next Civ game rolled. I posted it on Discord a few days ago. <laughs> for anyone who wasn't there. A few people already tried it, it's a pretty wild one. And if you haven't seen it, you'll see, it's going to be interesting. I've been thinking about some XCOM as well. I'm just a bit undecided uh, between mod jam and checking out what it's called. 
I forgot what the mod is called. But it's a mod that's basically kind of a middle ground between uh, like normal XCOM and the Long War of the Chosen. What the heck is it called? Well, never mind. Doesn't matter right now. Anyway. Uh, let's go grab that food. Oh, we already got the legacy trade. All right, that was quick. So I think for the start... All three are good in here, to be honest. But I'm actually going to grab food this time. So... Okay, so as far as new cultures go, uh, this is the new one for Ancient Era. And it's pretty interesting, actually. Plus one food on Farmer's Quarter per adjacent Farmer's Quarter, and the same thing for every other quarter type. So that's pretty nice. And uh, allows construction of new districts on adjacent tiles. Yeah, that's also pretty interesting. So basically you can place this anywhere you want and then use it as a starting point for other districts. That's pretty interesting. And the healers. So that's a close combat unit, kind of a weak one, but it allows your entire stack uh, to regenerate outside of your territory. All right, let's give it a shot. All right, let's give it a shot. Ah, the challenges of a so, I probably wanted a wonder right away. It was pretty good. Well, it doesn't have to be right away because I'll need to unlock the research quarter to really take advantage of it. And this looks like a decent spot. 18 food, 7 production. Alright, let's settle right here. And we'll keep looking. East or west? I guess one guy can go east and one guy can go west. You know, I would still like to see these animations to be a little bit faster, but apparently it's not as simple as that. Still, it would be nice if they were a little bit faster than this. Maybe it's just me. Some pretty nice land over here. This should make for some pretty good cities and outposts. Right. Pretty weird land at all. This is supposed to be a Pangea. Okay, no neighbor yet. Alright, let's grab influence first. Uh, I need 61. Uh, I'll have that soon, actually. So, calendar. Okay, is this a dead end? Yeah, let's stay here. Uh, we'll settle this area here. Uh, 
Uh, okay, so... I think collectivism was production, if I remember correctly. Was it? Uh, yep. Okay, two strategic resources right next to each other, okay. I'll probably want to grab that eventually. Okay, I'm two influence short. Alright, let's take a look. Uh, 21 food for production. Yeah, okay, that works. And then we'll grab the natural wonder. Alright, uh, let's unlock the archers right away. Uh, just in case there's some aggressive neighbor after all. And that's definitely possible. Okay, so now I need how much? 74. Okay, so first farmer's quarter, so that I won't have to work food as much, or hopefully at all. Okay, nice, influence. Right, so uh, the yields here will not be amazing, but I wanted to wonder. Uh, 5 food, 10 production. Yeah, alright. Okay, so coffee is a little bit of food. Uh, let's check out this area. See if there's anyone over here. Uh, nope, okay. So it should be safe to not settle this just yet. Because no one else will be able to until and they're able to embark. <clears throat> Alright, there's carpentry. Oh yeah, and here's uh, one of the really good changes in the update. You can now see how many yields exactly you will get for building various infrastructure. Like this one. If I build a lumber yard, right now I'll get plus three industry. So you don't have to, for example, count each forest individually. The tooltip just tells you. So that's a good thing. Obviously. Alright, let's grab more food here. So, uh, because of my unique ability, I will get more food. Well, more of everything when I build the same type of district next to each other. So this will give me more food than it normally would, as a different culture. Okay, IT influence. And let's check out this area. Yeah, pretty nice terrain over here. It should make for some nice food. Get out of the way, damn it. Really? You're just going to stand there. Okay. Fine. Be that way. Uh, okay, hold on. What was this again? Okay, combat strength to the left and the foot to the right. Okay. Well, I don't really need the combat strength. Let's get some extra food then. Hopefully. Alright, so let's send this guy south.
Okay, and I might just attach the one there right away. And that's only 30. Okay, 89 for the next outpost. Okay, this looks good. 15 for the 8 production and 19 for the 6 production. Alright, let's grab that. A pretty nice start so far. I like this area. And then we can get some production and the more slots for industry. Alright, keep going. Find some neighbors. There has to be someone around here. Pretty weird I haven't found anyone yet, actually. But alright. More horses. Okay, let's just speed this up a little. Then we'll grab influence. Okay, so let's attach this. And we'll grab the luxury. Actually, I don't really need it yet. It's a percentage bonus. It won't really give me a whole lot at this point. Yeah, more industry. Okay, four turns. No, this shouldn't be an island. Everyone should start on the continent. Hopefully. Okay, horses and copper in one territory. I'll probably want to grab this next. It's already adjacent. Yeah, we can grab this next. Still no neighbor. Oh yeah, there we go, uh, to the east. Okay then. Uh, I could kill him. He's already wounded. Greetings. I'm called hot-blooded, short-tempered. Uh, let's stay friendly for now. I don't want to piss them off right away. Okay, so let's settle this. Uh, 12 6 is good, 10 8 is also good. Alright, so that's horses and copper uh, for some early units. Okay. This is probably fine for now. So do I want this? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, not yet. We should actually grab uh, the holy site. To spread our religion. Okay, so bronze working. And let's keep exploring. Oh, yep, uh, neutrals are attacking me. Come over here. Follow me. Uh, yeah, you can get on Discord uh, through discord.gg slash marbles here. And the link should also be on the channel page. Uh, 
Okay, I don't need this just yet. Yeah, but minus 50% on create outpost, that's good. Okay, so 80 to attach another outpost. 88 to build one more. Oh, Mount Vesuvius, okay. Yeah, plus 10 stability on city or outpost, plus 10 faith on the main plaza, plus on influence per territories under the religion's influence. Okay. Uh, that's not too bad. I guess I'll grab that. And the new Charles again. Uh, slightly annoying, but okay. I guess I'll keep moving in this direction. <laughs> so... Right, I guess I have to settle this area first. I mean, I don't have to, but it will be more expensive if I just leapfrog like this. Does it explode during the game? No, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Uh, unfortunately or fortunately? <laughs> 8, 9, 6, 12. 8, 11. 9, 13. Okay, this is good. A pretty nice spot defensively as well. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Oh, come on, piss off. Leave me alone, damn it. I just want to explore. Yeah, I want to grab this, but I don't want to move towards aggressive neutrals. Uh, right. Uh, science. Okay, so now uh, we can get Mount Vesuvius next. Almost done with the holy site. There we go. Got that done early. So, right, I don't need the luxury just yet. It won't give me a whole lot. So it can wait. Uh, let's grab another farmer's quarter so that I won't have to work food. Okay, so the all next to the east. Uh, here are neutrals. Yeah, let's throw some gold their way. Maybe I can assimilate them later. And the more neutrals. Here you go. Uh, fortunately, they aren't violent. Because then they would be like permanently hostile towards me, which is a bit annoying. Okay, grab this. Okay, good, some influence. I need 123. And there's a strategic resource here, so we should definitely grab this. Uh, this could actually be a city. This is a really good spot for a city. It should be pretty good defensively. Yeah, I kind of like that. Somewhere around here should be the second city anyway. Okay, one more turn. There we go. 123. 516. Yeah, this is good enough. Mine. <laughs> 20 gold. All right. Still better than nothing. And he stole the previous one, so now we're even. Okay, 40 gold. And let's reveal the rest of this territory here. 
So how much to start the second city? 160. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, six pop. Let's have at least one dot on science. Yeah, I don't think I need any defenses just yet, but uh, this guy could declare war any moment. It's possible. Oh yeah, here's a violent uh, city-state or neutral, whatever. I could actually build up a stack and go take over one of the city-states here. That's not a bad idea. I might do that. Honestly, one more farm wouldn't hurt either. More food means potentially more units. Since they all use population. Uh, there's bronze working. Right, but I need to actually get copper, which is down south. Alright. Technically, I don't actually have to attach this. I can just spend 24 influence. Because I want my second city, preferably as soon as possible. Okay, organized warfare, in case we end up going to war. I want to be able to use reinforcements. I was hoping for influence here, but all right. Okay, one more turn and we can get a second city. Is he friendly? Uh, well, not really. Oh, he's pissed because I stole his natural wonder, uh, Eric Watts. Hey, clearly it's mine. See, it's closer to my capital than to yours, so clearly it's mine. But yeah, he's probably going to attack me at some point. Honestly, I could probably conquer him early on. It's not a terrible idea. Oh, yep, here's a hostile stack. Oh, and he's uh, ransacking my outpost. Damn it. That's a little bit rude. Uh, just a little bit. Okay, that is a bit annoying. I guess I could get some Yonis here. Might be a little bit too late. I got what? Four turns? I'll probably have to restart that outpost. Yeah, I think so. Alright, whatever. What does he have in here? Uh, two chariots. Well, in theory, one warrior and one archer might be able to beat that. If I have terrain advantage. And I could maybe add this scout. For like a flanking bonus. Oh, yep, he moved. He moved towards my scout. Because he's silly. <laughs> well, that's a good thing, because now he'll have to restart the ransacking operation. So, works for me. Minus 20% land unit industry cost. I could kind of use that, but I don't like minus 10 food per turn for 10 turns. Yeah, no, I'll pass on that. Thanks. Okay, so let's finish this guy. And we'll get one more archer and then we can go. Oh yeah, and I can start a city now. So hold on. Oh, he's attacking again. Uh, okay, now I kind of have to fight. I guess rip scout. So this could be a city, and this could be a city. 
Hmm. I think I prefer when the cities are actually close to each other, because that makes them easier to defend, and I can just attach the other territories. If I end up going to war, it will be much easier to defend when they are right next to each other. So let's have the city here. And we can just attach this. That's 30. Okay, another era star. And now, I don't think I want to rush towards the next era right away. We want to get at least some extra fame. Uh, everything is still available. Uh, so the next new culture uh, is right here, in the Nazca. Close combat unit. When this unit destroys an enemy in battle, it inspires all its allies and provides them with a bonus, okay? Influence and faith. Okay. Plus one bonus emblematic district on territories containing a natural wonder. Uh, that's kind of interesting. What? How can you not get in? You should be able to get in just fine. Here's the link. Yeah, this is actually kind of interesting. Not sure if it's worth taking an entire culture for it, but... An extra emblematic district on territories with a natural wonder. So I do have two natural wonders already. I'm not sure if there's a third one somewhere around here. Hey, buddy, I kind of want more era stars for now. So we can get some builder stars, definitely agrarian stars. A scientist stars easily. And probably military stars as well when I attack the neutrals. So let's just chill and wait. Okay, 130 to attach another territory. Okay, start from food here. Yeah, we'll pick our next culture later. Yeah, I don't want this yet because I want my influence. Uh, one thing I could do, however, uh, is grab Maya early uh, for a production boost. I'm not totally convinced that this bonus is worth it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really convinced. Maybe if I had three or more natural wonders, but even with two, I'm just not convinced. But we'll see. If the AI picks Maya, then maybe I can consider it. For now, I want more fame. Okay, the neutrals are chasing my scout, that's good. I want them to do that, that's fine. Uh, here's the third unit. So, uh, one more definitely wouldn't hurt. Can we get a warrior in one turn? Yeah. So let's get two warriors and two archers. And then they will definitely be able to win. Oh, whoops. I didn't move the production here. There you go. Okay, they will keep chasing my scout. Okay, that was a farm. Okay, there's the stack. Uh, okay, I don't really want a uh, uh, world wonder. 
And there's only one that's not claimed. Yeah, I don't really want that. I want to attach the horses and copper here. So let's do that. Uh, probably to our new city, because I assume the capital will be attaching all this land to the west, potentially. Although eventually I can probably take over this city-state. I assume. I can already take this one for 200. Uh, yeah, I think that's worth doing. Okay, let's grab this. 200 is good. Okay, done. And that gives me more units as well. That should be useful. And now, in theory, I could attack this neutral city, the other neutral city. With everything I got, just to make sure we won't lose. Okay, so more food first. Grab that. Uh, yeah, not yet. Oh, he's attacking already. Okay, whatever. Uh, well, that's good. I want some militarist era stars. So that is actually a good thing. Uh, no archers in this stack, however. Yeah, he's using my own city to attack me. I mean, that kind of shouldn't actually be possible. Uh, but I suppose it is. It is slightly irritating. Got him. I don't think existing cultures changed in Bolivar update, but I'm not sure. Alright, there's still that neutral stack somewhere to the east. It would be nice to chase it down. Uh, Alright, so hold on. Uh, I need to decide which city to attach this to. Let's attach it to the capital. Because the other city potentially has a lot of other land to grab to the east. So this is good, and we'll grab the copper right away. And the horses. have at least some people on science. So this is... Okay, food and stability. A flat food is good, let's get that. There's organized warfare, so now I can use reinforcements. And let's heal these guys first. Uh, when are some more stars coming? Uh, two more districts, okay. Uh, four more population, one more technology, and if I can kill four units, and that would also be another star. Plus ten stability. A uh, plus one movement. Okay, that's useful. Let's get the movement. So, one more tag for another star. Plus five industry, minus five stability. Okay, got the horses. I suppose I can connect the T. So there's another star. I need to kill four units. Okay, so that's two. And then I'll need two more.
All right, done. Yeah, these stupid reverts are actually slowing me down a lot. Ford. Hmm. All right, let's grab one. Although I'm not sure if I'll have a chance to finish this. Uh, all right, we got the first tenet. The influence from mountains, gold, and this is taken. Experience, world support, science on strategic resources. I think I'll just take industry on forest and woodland. Can't go wrong with more industry, to be honest. This proposition should your proposal. Oh, non aggression pact? I, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. That's the blue guy. He's not even my neighbor, so it doesn't really matter. All right, I need to kill two more units. Like, now. Come on. Uh, I can kill the birds, I guess. Uh, killing militia should actually work. So let's do that. Yeah, that's two guys. It should work. And maybe you wait for them to attack me. Yep. This might take more than one turn. Unfortunately, I can't attack with uh, mounted units, but they can attack me. Yeah, it will take more than one turn. That's all right. I have a. Uh, I don't think I'll get there in time to help. <laughs> I might as well move in that general direction, though. Okay, forty gold. Got him. Wait, did they kill each other? I think they killed each other. Yeah, they both died. Uh, that's interesting. Okay, okay. <laughs> and there's an archer. And uh, now that's rude. Maybe I don't need help after all. Okay, looks like I will actually need my reinforcements after all. And uh, there's the era star though. And that's not the militarist one. Plus ten food for ten turns, nice. So let's attach some more territory. 180. Right, so that's the Mount of Vesuvius. Let's attach that. And more dots on science. Okay, yeah, I will definitely need reinforcements here. And they'll need one more turn. So this might be over in one more turn. Okay. Yeah, I definitely need help. Okay, that's good. We're in. Reinforcements. 
reinforcements have arrived. That should help a lot. So, okay, hold on. Maybe that chariot first. I can save some of my dodds. At least one of them. do they have? Come on now. What? Even more? Piss off. Okay, at this rate, I will just lose this fight. Uh, that's not good. Yep, he's still not dead. And they will kill each other if I attack. Okay, he has way too much crap here. I don't think I can actually win. Nope, uh, I actually cannot. Uh, yeah, they had way too much crap here. And I can't leave either. Well, alright then. I got my Era Star. Can we still get more? Why is there no easy way to open this screen? And that's too much pop to wait. Two more technologies. I could wait for two more technologies, but that would be five turns. I think I'll just take the Maya here. For a production boost. So let's go with that. And now I could claim uh, a cultural wonder. Plus two science per district. Oh, uh, is the lighthouse still bugged? I wonder. Because this used to give you plus one combat strength basically for everything. Not just for naval units, for literally everything. Like every unit. I don't know if that's still the case or not. I guess we could test it. I would only pick it up if this is still the case. Alright, this is new. A plus two food on territories, district and exploitations. Okay, that's kind of nice. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Okay, let's take the new wonder. Why not? More food is always good. Alright, so standing army next. Uh, to get the javelin ears. I definitely can't win this fight anymore. He had way too much crap. We'll come back though. Okay, I don't think I want to build that just yet. Let's get our production up. I don't need at least one unit here to grab more territory. Yeah, how about a scout rider? He might come attack me, because he's actually pretty close. I could probably use some defenses up here. Some spearmen definitely wouldn't hurt. And an archer or two. Okay, so there's the scout rider. And these guys are friendly. Uh, let's get some land to the east. Mm, 
Mm, okay, only 30 to attach this. I kind of want this for my capital. The spearman can get some land. Oh, yep, now he's attacking me already. Okay. No, that's the birds. Really? <laughs> okay, sure. So, iron over here. Yeah, that's this one. 9, 7, 11, 6. And 9, 10. Okay, that's decent. I'm a little bit close, so he might attack me here. I'm going to need some stack. Plus 17 industry, yep. Definitely. Okay, let's just max out the production. I don't want to replace the ceremonial plaza. Here, this is fine. Plus 10 stability, plus faith, more industry. Yeah, let's get industry. And that's purple. All those of honest intent may have my ear. Uh, 80 to war support, okay. And that's not good. He wants us to convert. Yeah, no, I don't think I'll be doing that, buddy. I don't need an army here. <laughs> I don't really have one anymore. Which is not great. Okay, let's grab this territory really quick. Okay, that's like way too many neutrals now. And I'm already under attack. That didn't take long. Yeah, okay, that did not take long at all. He's probably going to ransack this now. Uh, maybe not. No, he's going to chase uh, my scout rider. Which is fine. Uh, yeah, it would have been fine if I had the time to move. Uh, but apparently I did not. He's almost dead here. One pikeman might actually be able to kill him. Especially uh, from like a terrain advantage. Okay, okay, I need units. We can uh, build up our production later. Uh, so, spearman, archer, spearman, archer. By the way, this game does something weird with my GPU since the update. I'm not sure what's going on here. Hold on. Yeah, okay, no, something weird is going on. My GPU is pretty much overheating right now. And I think I have a frame rate limit set. Where was it? Yeah, I do have FPS lock at 60. Oh. This was not happening before I the patch, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. You're but it's a bit concerning. Yeah, it's self throttling right now because it was like well over 80 degrees. It's still happening. I'm not sure what's up with that. Okay, I'm going to fight this guy manually here. If he attacks me on the high ground here across the river, he'll die. Yep, we won. Good. Now let's go back and heal. And I still want the city. 
but that will have to wait. So, okay, hold on. I don't want the walls in this one. I'm a bit close. He might actually attack me. So let's get walls. Uh, walls in here as well. That's only a single turn. I can do that. Yeah, there are a lot of neutrals over here right now. Uh, but only one is violent. Uh, surprisingly, he didn't try to ransack my outpost here. So I still can't quite attach that directly. Uh, here, 22, 10, that's good. This should be safe. Uh, I don't want to build a wonder, but for now I have more important things to do. Okay, yeah, that's good. 17 production. Pretty nice pop in the capital already. 13 pop. Okay, one more pyramid here to max out production. That's 165 already. Yeah, the Maya are still so strong. That did not change. Okay, so six units. And this might be enough. Depends on how many defenses he has. Okay, he's attacking with a single guy. I'll just do this manually because I do not trust auto-resolve. Especially when it comes to squishy yogis like archers. Okay, got him. Right, we got the walls now. Yeah, see, so with the UI update, if you don't have to think much about which improvement here will give you the most food, you can just see it on the tooltip now. That was definitely a very good change. Plus nine industry. Okay, yeah, let's grab a forge. An enormous leap forward, from mundane tallies of crops to recording the wisdom of Wait, Sage. what? What is he talking about? Humankind now wields the most powerful tool of all. Oh, writing. Right. Okay, okay. So, let's unlock the research quarter, because I'll need some to take advantage of this natural wonder over here. So, that makes sense. And we'll go get this city. Time for payback. This should be enough. I got six units. Technically had eight previously. <laughs> and that was not enough. Alright, well, this should be enough in theory. Let's find out. But I needed the javelin units to basically be next to him. Otherwise they will not be able to attack. Because they need like direct line of sight. It's a bit of an annoying Yogi to use actually. Okay, good bait. Up you go. Oh yeah, this will give me a rear attack, that's nice. Here you go. I think it's safe if I stay where I am. I can almost kill this chariot. I think I can kill it. Uh, almost. Oh, yep, it's dead. Nice. So unless he has reinforcements, uh, we are about to win here. 
I don't think he has reinforcements, no. Yep, got it. Uh, well, almost. I still need to properly attack the city and kill the garrison. So let's do that real quick. Back up with the wounded guys. Here. Yeah, that's just two levies. So unless he has reinforcements coming. Uh, we pretty much got this. Yeah, get a rear attack going. Uh, no need to attack with this dude. Let them attack. Got it. Yeah, he's as good as dead. Now we got the city, okay. Uh, I will be at 4 out of 2 however, so now I need to grab the policy. Uh, which one was it? Uh, right here, plus 1 city cap. I need that city cap. So that's 4 out of 3, not nearly as bad. That's probably going to be the 4 cities. Eventually I'll want this one, but probably not yet. We can probably get this one peacefully eventually. There are still like two more cities to the east, two more neutral cities. Three neutral cities. That's a lot of neutrals in this area. And the one to the west, so yeah, that's a lot of neutrals. I don't think any of them are hostile though, just the one we killed. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, now I need to grab all this land before our neighbor does it. And he will do it if I give him the time. Uh, plus two influence on the main plaza and on administrative center. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, are the absorb costs still insanely high? Uh, I don't know because I didn't get that far, but I didn't see anything about that in the patch notes. So I think they are still high. That's the annoying thing about the neutrals, because if you take neutral cities early on, there's really not much you can do about it uh, to get rid of the city cap penalty. You can't assume, you can't like merge them or absorb them early on because that requires a tech from later in the game. Or was it a civic? But it's later in the game anyway. You can't do it at the start. You can't like disband a city. So, I mean, there's not much you can do about it. You can just eat this penalty or not take it. I don't think there's anything else you can do. At least I'm pretty sure there's nothing else you can do. Which is kind of annoying. Alright, so... Uh, some industry... Uh, for the first... And now we can get the wonder, that would be good. Uh, so probably need to use more than one city to build that. Where does that need to be built? It doesn't say? Wait, where does it say where it needs to be placed? Oh, one neighboring district must be the main plaza. Okay, fair enough. Oh, so I need to build it right next to my uh, city, basically. Okay, okay. I guess I could build it elsewhere, like here. On a tile that's not utilized yet. On a tile that doesn't have an existing district on it. Plus 25% faith. Minus 500 gold. Plus 10 stability for 10 turns. 
for 500 gold is not a very good trade in my opinion. I suppose I'm okay losing one pop here. We'll get it back quickly enough. What do you want? You have All right, we can probably trade something. And that's too much gold. Uh, yeah, okay, that's way too much. I'm not paying you that much. Uh, never mind then. So another holy site. A plus 15 industry. Okay, let's get industry here. That won't take long. Okay, we can still grab more land here. Let's go do that. And all this land to the west as well. I obviously want that. Oh yeah, swordsman. Okay, I can get a swordsman in one turn. That works. Plus three industry. Yeah, see, so this is not worth building right now. Plus eight food. Yeah, plus eight food is good. Okay, so the swordsman can, can grab this land to the west. Before the neutrals steal all of it. And we got marble here. Okay, so that's plus one industry per worker per marble. That is very good. I definitely want that. He'll be pissed for me stealing it. Debate and discussion are not but whatever, I don't care about his opinion. A six four okay, this spot is nice. A five fourteen, okay, yeah, this is good. Yeah, he definitely won't be happy when I do that. Three seventeen. Okay. So one more pyramid here. Uh, the wheel to get the roads, right? So okay, I can't go further west. Might as well go back east with the swordsman. And grab this before he does. Yeah, he won't be happy about that. And we took iron. Okay, we took an unknown strategic resource. We took copper, marble, gold, and iron. All with this one single outpost. He will not be happy. I'll probably fortify that area right away. <laughs> Yep. Okay, that's a lot of neutrals, but uh, this one is hostile. Yeah, that's a violent city-state again. Okay, then. A little bit annoying. I guess I'll need something in here. Anything. It's just what? It's just a warrior and an archer for now. I guess I'm probably fine. But I'll feel safer with like at least one unit to defend myself with. Here, let's just grab a quick swordsman. And let me grab this before we leave. Okay, you guys will stay here and defend. I want to keep this territory. Uh, how's our fame? Okay, 1700. 
a horse whore right now. Uh, let's check. If you seek. Okay, Kelts. He's kind of my neighbor, but not really. Why are you here? Okay, still classical. Come to demonstrate your custom Greeks. attack, have you? Okay. I would not put myself in this position if I feared the consequences. He's not really about to attack me or anything. I could actually demand uh, this outpost. Okay, why the heck not? I'm sorry. If we go to war, and it seems like we will, I'll be able to get this easier. Oh, okay, he already declared war. Uh, Alright. I guess I'm prepared, bish. Kind of. But okay, that's fine. Uh, I could definitely use more units, like more swordsmen and such. But... Hmm. Well, I assume his capital is defended. So I don't think I want to go for that right away. We could pillage his administrative center here. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, yep, he has a stack over there. Let's keep these guys close to each other. Uh, I don't need my swordsmen here. Yeah, more than one. What can we attach right now? Let's see. Okay, so this was the plan here. Uh, yep. There you go. Hmm. Oh yeah, uh, I can grab a garrison down here and then recruit some units directly down here, next to Laventa. Uh, I kind of need stability in this one anyway. Uh, yeah, it needs to be revealed first. Still, let's grab a garrison, like, over here. This is good enough. I need some stability, one way or the other. I might as well let the pyramid finish. Okay, I don't need to work on stability. <laughs> A little bit. Let's get some garrisons. Useful for unit recruitment anyway. Okay, there's the wheel. And two stars. Oh, yep, he's attacking. What is he attacking with? Uh, okay, yeah, he does have swordsmen. And some reinforcements here. I probably want to run away from this one. Yeah, I think so. Because I wouldn't win that fight. I need a bunch of swordsmen. So let's maybe work on that. Hmm. Alright, I'm just going to spam some swordsmen. I don't think I want to wait for a garrison, no. Unless... 
Yeah, no, that will take too long. Just get the swordsman. Hey, can I get one more city? No. Okay, no, because then I would get their units right away. But unfortunately, that's not happening. Okay, let's grab fortifications that will upgrade the home guard and give me stone walls. So, right, I probably want to move away from these guys right now. I need better units to win against swordsmen. I assume he will attack my outpost, but maybe... I'll be there with reinforcements by the time he does. I can also attach it, but I'm not sure if I want to attach it. I suppose it's only 30 influence, so it's not a big deal. Okay, let's attach it. Two turns. Okay, two turns for another swordsman. So here's two swordsmen. Yeah, as long as I can get there quickly enough, uh, I'll win just fine. And let's connect R on here. After the swordsman. What's this? Uh, right, I don't want stability for a garrison, definitely. Okay, so move away from him. Yeah, he has two stacks. So, oh, and he has bullshit elephants. Okay, that's not great. I prefer having bullshit elephants myself, not when the AI has them. That's a bit annoying. Yeah, that's not good. Hmm. So hold on, I got well over 1000 influence here. So this garrison is done, right? Okay, so now I can spot units down here. Stability is still not looking great. So one turn for a swordsman. Okay, I can get two swordsmen in one turn, so let's do that and finish the pyramid all in one turn. That's good. Actually, hold on. Public fountain. I never built that. Back up again. Okay, now he turned back. That's good. And he's not ransacking my uh, administrative center or anything. Oh, he's attacking my actual... Wait, what is he doing? Oh, he's attacking my swordsman. Okay, okay. Wait, what? No, the neutrals are attacking me. What? What? What the heck? Uh, no, I don't want to fight that. Piss off. What? Oh, that's the rebels. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, right. Well, I guess I'll have to kill them at some point. I don't have the time for that. I 
I really don't have the time for that. Okay, one more sword, man. This probably still isn't enough. Yeah, I don't think it is. Not if I have to fight both stacks. I'm going to need everything I got here. Or I'm just going to lose. Well, let's see then. I guess now I can grab a garrison for my capital. Yeah, that's not really a great spot for it. Okay, right here. It's not exactly far away, but it's at least a little bit further to the east. Okay, two more swords, man. There we go. Okay, these rebels are still going to attack me. <sighs> I really don't want to fight them like this, but I guess I have to now, because I cannot retreat anymore. <sighs> well, alright then. I kind of doubt I can win this. But maybe I can, if I just defend might be able to and then swap them around here that might work oh yeah he has three units not two yeah no I can't do it I will maybe kill one unit unless I can get there quickly enough with some reinforcements I have to finish them off one way or the other, I can't just leave them there. All the rivers around here are actually slowing down my movement significantly. So what do I want to attach to what? Well... I guess this makes sense. 17 pop. Yeah, okay, I, I don't need uh, more stability here. So first one more garrison and then city watch. And that's a lot of pop. <laughs> Okay, if I use all of these units here, I can probably beat his two stacks, but it's still going to be tough. Okay, I probably want more era start right now. What can we still get? Um, one more builder star easily. Probably one more scientist. And maybe I can get military stars from this war. If I kill two of his stacks, that's already eight units killed, so that would be enough. Okay, I'll kill one guy and then I'll die. I guess we can do that. Now my other stack can finish him off. Okay, so let's move. He did attack me, so I do have kind of an advantage. But I would still like to take something from him. Hopefully this will be enough units. Yeah, I don't want to choose just yet. I don't think anyone did. No, they did not. Unless I could choose something that would help me win this war much easier. Oh yeah, this is the next culture from the uh, Latin America cultures DLC. 
a plus 5 food per number of territories in your sphere of influence. Okay, plus 10 stability, plus 10 influence on settled city. Okay, that seems nice. Plus 10 stability and influence. And what's the unit? Ranged. Receives no penalties from rivers. Okay. Uh, that's kind of interesting. Okay, I might grab them, but uh, again, not yet. I want to get some more fame from Era Stars. So let's wait for that first. Okay, here's his stack. He's moving west. If I can catch one of his stacks without the other one nearby, that would be best. But easier said than done. Oh yeah, he's attacking me down here now. So let's retreat. I mean, I will lose some war support for retreating, but that's better than losing my units. I'll have to fight both of them at the same time. All right. Yeah, this elephant is a bit concerning. I might not be able to win this. It's going to be tricky. And sure, I have spearmen and such, but they only have, what, 19 strength? That doesn't help too much against an elephant with 31, you know? Just saying. Uh, I could build a garrison down here, but that will take like 8 turns. Alright, well, let's give it a shot. Let's see how it works out. He might actually retreat if I attack him with everything here. Will he fight? Okay, he attack. Oh yeah, hold on, hold on. So he cannot bring his other units right now. I have to fight because I can't retreat down here anymore. But we can beat his other fort stack. Okay, so I can win this, but I might lose a unit or two. All the swordsmen should be in the front. Because they are way stronger. Okay, that's good. Archers right behind them. Okay, this looks good. I need to take down uh, the elephant. Preferably fast. Yeah, check this shit out. I will take up to 39 damage. And if I get really unlucky, I'll do 5 damage and take almost 40. So that's not great. Not great at all. Oh, no line of sight. That's also great. Oh yeah, because these are javelin years, not archers. So I can move forward with one of them. But that's a bit risky. Just a little bit. Okay, let's do it like this. Yeah. I'm not attacking the elephant from the raw ground, that's for sure. I might just have to chill and let him move here. Probably attack the swordsman because now I'm getting rear attack. Okay, I think that's going to be it for this turn.
Okay, that's it for this turn. Let's see who he's going to focus on. I'm probably going to lose something here. That's going to be inevitable. Got that guy. Okay, now I can get high ground with my javelin ears. So this is decent damage. Plus four from friendly units surrounding me and plus four from high ground. So I actually have higher combat strength than he does right now. That works. Uh, he's probably still going to kill something. Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, but maybe not. Okay, no, I think we're good. So I only lost one spearman. Uh, rear attack. Yep, he dead. Nice. Okay, the terrain definitely helped me there. Yeah, I only lost one spearman, so we're fine. And now, unfortunately, I'm going to lose uh, two swordsmen here because they cannot run away anymore. All I can do is just hold my ground here. Yeah, he has a bullshit elephant in this stack as well. I can try to run out of the clock here and the force another turn in this fight. So let's try to do that. It's probably not going to work, but I can try anyway. Yeah, no, it's not going to work. Oh well. Can I kill one guy? Uh, yeah, I think I did. So not much change in... Uh, War score there. How's our war score now? I cannot teach you with uh, 47 54. All right, uh, so Garrison is over here. Yeah, I'm just going to spam swordsman. That is my strongest unit right now. I have no idea what the follow-up event in here is. But I could actually use some stability right now, so let's get that. Yep, definitely. Okay, fortifications research, so now I will have better home guard units. Where did he go? Uh, right here. Okay, now I can take care of him, definitely. I could heal myself if I go back into my territory here. So let's maybe do that. We'll see what he's going to do. So I'm not sure if three swordsmen can win this. Uh, that might be a bit of a stretch. His two units are almost dead, but the elephant is really strong. So I'm not totally convinced. Let's see if he moves towards me if I go here. Okay, now I need some pop. <laughs> and, yep, yeah, stability as well. Let's grab a garrison down here. 
uh, for stability, but also for recruitment. Okay, build a pyramid while I still can. Yeah, that's still not amazing stability, to be honest. What is he doing? Okay, yep, he's moving towards me. Now, do I want to fight here or not? Oh, can I move in? Yeah, I can move in with reinforcements. Uh, more than one, even. Okay, yeah, I can beat him here. Oh, this is good. He, fe he fell right into my trap. Yeah, this is perfect. You activated my trap card. Here you go. The least wounded units first. Yeah, high ground and a rear attack. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure if this should count as a rear attack, because the swordsman from the low ground cannot attack up the cliff. But hey, it does, so whatever. <laughs> I'm not questioning it, alright? <laughs> Man, these stupid elephants are so tough. There we go, got him. Nice. So that's the toughest you need down. The rest should be easy. Yep. Uh, he's as good as dead now. There we go, plus six, and another era star, good. So how's our fame status? A one more district for a builder star, all right, we can do that. And we are doing that. I don't want to finish uh, the pyramid, if possible. Okay, I still need stability. I might have to finish this war soon. <laughs> I'm trying, all right. It was not love or hate at first sight. I do kind of want to take something from him. I want to at least pillage the administrative centers here. So we'll do that, hopefully, and then claim that territory myself. That's the plan. Okay, sixty gold. And let's check the city real quick. Looks fine. So I don't think I want to attach anything just yet because of stability. And this one looks okay-ish, but I don't want to go overboard. I need higher stability first. Okay, so in theory, I could maybe go after his capital, but I assume it will be defended. If he's defended with elephants, I'm not going to win there. That much is obvious. Right, so let's ransack this. That will also give me some ward support or ward score. And then uh, this one here. And then I can claim that land myself. That's the plan. Maybe even have a fifth city somewhere in the middle. I'm at four out of four now, so I can afford one more city. One over a cup is fine. Okay, yep, he's coming with an elephant. Uh, that's fine. Or no, you don't, buddy. Here, we'll kill him easily.
Nice try. I don't think that's going to work out for you. Yeah, so now I could move and then get a second rear attack. There we go. And not attack with a low ground guy. Yeah, I think I'll kill him before he can trigger victory here. Yeah, he's dead. Got him. Nice. And he's attacking again. Uh, okay, two elephants this time. No, that's a chariot. Do I fight here? Where are reinforcements? Uh, right here. And they are close enough to move in. And this guy is not close enough. Okay, I think I can win that. So this time I'll probably lose something, but I should be able to win this, no problem. I'm like one movement short to join with the other stack, unfortunately. But assuming it will take more than one turn, the other stack will join up too. So let's do it. I'll probably lose with the Spearman. This is my weakest stack. Any high ground here? Yep, a little bit. I don't need to defend my flag. Uh, that might get a little bit tricky. Let's have a Spearman on the flag because he can take more damage and not die. Okay, something like this. I just need to delay him a little. While my other units join. I need a swordsman on this tile. Oh, uh, the battlefield got expanded and now my other stack will join. Right, okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Now I got the rear attack. Come on, kill the horseman. Got him. And now I need the unit on my flag. A stronger unit on my flag. And this guy cannot move anymore. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can get one over there on this turn. Maybe? I'm not sure, actually. If I leave and he moves in, that would be problematic. Yeah, I can't. Oh, yeah, no, I can. There was no way to know for sure if he'll be able to move there or not. Okay, I don't really want to attack that chariot from the low ground. But I can get a rear attack. 31 to 27. Still not ideal, but I guess it's fine. 
I might be able to kill him actually. Okay, I can kill him. Nice. And attack the elephant. Okay, fortunately, it's just one elephant, so he can't kill all of us. But I really hate these guys. Okay, so go here for a rear attack. I kind of want a stronger swordsman here now. Okay, got him. One more swordsman. Okay, just the elephant left. I guess I'll just throw everything at him. He can only attack once per turn, so whatever. He can't kill all of us. And maybe I can kill him, hold on. If I get lucky, I can kill him. But I'll need more like 39 damage, not 28. Yeah, got it, nice. So that wasn't a bad fight. I lost one Spearman and one Javelinier. Honestly, that's a good outcome. That is actually a good outcome. And now I can pillage this. With a bigger stack, preferably. Otherwise, this will take too long. I can also heal myself right away. I got the money. There you go. Full health. Okay, that was pretty good. He's down to 30 towards support. So I can win. <laughs> Non-aggression pact. Hmm, I wonder why. A plus 10 stability. Yes, I need that. All right, we are about to get another star on the next turn. I would need to kill one more unit for the third military star. Maybe I'll get a chance to do that, not sure. This guy, but I don't have anything nearby. What's this? That's just a scout rider. But yeah, I don't have anything nearby. I can recruit something. Okay, swordsman. So, okay, let's pillage this faster, shall we? Move in with a bigger stack. So that will take two turns. Okay. And I could probably attack Laventa, maybe. It depends on what he's defending it with. Oh, hey Miso, uh, thanks for the gifted memberships. And by the way, for anyone who doesn't have one yet, uh, this is still in beta, so you have to click on the notification and enable it. It's like a one-time action. I don't think that will be required once it's out of beta, but right now it's still in beta. So if you don't have one yet, you can grab one from Miso. Alright, 77 gold to heal, 57. I think you can take Laventa with this, unless he has like a lot of bullshit elephants down there. Because I want to have more than two territories from this. Oh yeah, yeah, and you get the modes, definitely. And not just on streams, but uh, also on their videos. Uh, thanks, I appreciate it. Uh, Alright, I need the stone rings somewhere for stability.
probably in the capital or in the city in the middle that's good though okay that's good So let's get this done quickly. Okay, one more turn. And to finish pillaging. And there's his scout. I think I can kill him. I assume he's going to run away when I attack him. But that's still a little bit of uh, war support. Yeah, okay, he will run away. Oh, and by the way, for anyone who doesn't know, if you didn't watch my other video, you don't have to end the war now, once your opponent is down to zero war support. You can force your demands on him, but you don't have to. You can continue, uh, there's just going to be a growing stability penalty when you do. So that's a very good change, a long overdue. Alright, let's see what he has in Laventa, maybe I can just take it. Uh, there's a decent chance I can. I did kill some pretty damn strong units he had. Okay, walls. Ransack successful, good. Where's his guy? I don't see him anymore. So let's check Laventa. Okay, how bad can it possibly be? And here's the other good change. Uh, you don't get automatically attacked by the AI when you start a siege. You can only sort it uh, once the attacker chooses to maintain the siege. So the attacker will always have the option of assaulting the city right away. You will no longer be a defender in a friggin' siege, which made no sense ever, so I'm glad that that's fixed. That can't be hey, will everyone be in range here? Hey, well, not everyone. But if he joins in with reinforcements, the battlefield should be expanded, and then my other stack will join in as well. Yeah, so now, uh, but let's say he had other units here and he wanted to attack me. I would have to choose to maintain the siege. Until I do, he cannot use sortie. So I can always launch an attack. And I can always be an actual attacker here. Which is good because, you know, being able to go first is a huge advantage. It was one of the most irritating things previously. I really hated it. Okay, so uh, this looks like a cliff. Yeah, unless he has reinforcements in the back, I should win this easily. Okay, yeah, nice bonus. Oh yeah, uh, the other guys did join. Nice. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to tell how much the battlefield will expand once you start the fight. Okay, yeah, he did join with some elephants. I should still win this, but it will take more than a single turn. Uh, yeah, maybe. I guess we'll find out. Do I have any more units? Uh, no, I guess not. And that's it. Well, these guys, but they are not quite close. It would take them five turns to get there. So I assume that's not going to happen. I have to win with what I got. 
he has two elephants, so I'm not sure. Well, no, I could just take the flag, actually. Maybe I can do that. I, I think I can do that, actually. And then he will have to kill me. So let's go in with the veteran swordsman. He will have slightly higher strength. So now he has to retake his flag or I'll win. I'm sure he will try. Hmm. I can probably kill the citizens. Uh, almost. Yeah, not quite. I mean, I, I, yep, no, I did. But I can't move in because this guy already moved this round. All right. Still a good turn. Uh, I think I'll survive. Okay, I survived. Nice. So now I can move out and move in with somebody else. Let's do that. It doesn't really matter who. Someone with full health. I think I can actually win this. Oh, I can't attack over the river. Right. Uh, that's annoying. I want to kill at least one elephant here, but easier said than done. There we go, we're in with another unit. Yeah, I got this. <laughs> what happened with that guy? Yep, got this. Nice. And another Era Star. So we got Laventa. Uh, he still has the two elephants in the bag, but we got the city. Uh, that's the important part. I don't think I want to get too greedy here. Have a seat. Have a we'll just end it. Let's get to know each other. Yeah, we'll just end it probably on the next turn. And I need to work on my stability still. But this is good. That's a pretty good outcome considering he had bullshit elephants. I was a bit worried when I saw he had a lot. Uh, can we pick the next culture yet? Let's see. Uh, so, okay, six more districts is a bit too much. Two more technologies. Six more pop. And we almost got the uh, influence star here. I'm literally free influence short. Can I get six pop quickly? So that's one, two, three. I, I probably can, actually. Okay, I probably can. Uh, okay, stability looks fine in this city. A plus 19 industry. Uh, from the lumber yard. Yep. Okay, uh, ongoing war can be ended. Oh, what? 
Oh, yeah, he just walked in because I didn't have any orders queued up. Yeah, it's a bit annoying. But, I mean, I can just take it back. <laughs> so, whatever. Uh, I'm still doing this manually because I do not trust auto-resolve. But after the patch, if you have orders queued up on your units, the AI will let you execute that order before they take action themselves, if I remember correctly. So as in, if you have a move order queued up on your unit, they will let you execute that before they move themselves. Yeah, I still have to win this again, which is, again, kind of irritating, but whatever. Yeah, that was kind of bad placement, but we're fine. I guess I'll just do the same thing again. Just take the flag. That should be easy enough. They do have an elephant out there. Yeah, in the back. Two elephants again. <laughs> Seriously? Well, okay, that's fine. Here, <laughs> same exact strategy again. And I killed his other units, so there's no way he'll be able to do anything about this. He might kill a unit or two, but yeah, we pretty much got this. I'll probably lose a swordsman or two. Piss off. Yeah, he's focusing on the guy on the flag, which makes sense. He didn't even kill him, so that's just wasted attacks. Move out and move in with somebody else. Move in. Move in. Okay, I can't attack from here. Yeah, let's just chill now. Because I'll win automatically unless he recaptures the flag. Let me kill that citizen and move in again. Yep, got it. Uh, this is pretty much a granted win now. There we go. Oh yeah, I have to assault the city again. Are you actually kidding me? Come on, man. Okay, that's just obnoxious, dude. That is just obnoxious. Hey, you there, come back here. Where do you think you're going? Cheeky bastard. Okay, that was just obnoxious. Okay, 19 Ford. Uh, more movement, more combat strength. Yeah, let's get more science. And what do you guys want? Yeah, he's at zero now. So, see, previously, before the patch, I would be forced to peace out right now, which was really, really annoying. But after the patch, I don't have to. I can just continue. I probably don't want to continue for too long because I'll take a stability penalty. Uh, speaking of which... Uh, okay. Why are you... If you seek the greater good, then I would know you better. Any cheap trades? I can see it would be best to let bygones be bygones. You must be seven hundred twenty nine. Okay, 400 is not too bad, uh, 200. Okay, that's good. Oh. 
Okay, one more Mercury. Come on, give me a Venta bug, damn it. It's mine. Assault. <laughs> okay, this looks familiar. <laughs> mm, I think we've been here before. Just a hunt. Okay, well, my units have less health now, so I need to be a bit more careful. I just need the city bug, damn it. I don't care if it's not for long. Okay, he has more reinforcements now. Uh, okay, this is just getting really annoying right now. I guess I'll just go after the flag aggressively again. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, he didn't deploy reinforcements yet. So that means I can block them, at least some of them. Uh, not all of them, but I can block at least one. I'm not quite close enough to block the other, unfortunately. Oh well. And this is still helpful though. Okay, yeah, let's move in. A rear attack. I think you can kill the citizen. Kind of. Yeah, got it. Okay, yeah, we're in. Good, we got it. So we won because he didn't get a chance to deploy anything. Now I can end it. So let's end it. I think we had enough. You? What is it? Don't get comfortable. Uh, so... Right, for surrender. So obviously La Venta, a 183 war score. What's this? Uh, yeah, that looks fine to me. Wait, what? Hold on. Is it this one? It's kind of hard to tell. I think that's the one. He has silk here. Okay, silk is good. Okay, this looks reasonable. You are generous and well appreciated. So that's a lot of uh, extra territory. And he had the mausoleum at Halicarnassus under construction here, so now I can finish it. Hopefully they fixed the bug where uh, you weren't able to finish other people's wonders. Uh, I suppose we can test that. And I still have to build the Pyramid of the Sun. But I guess that can wait. We're done with the war, that's the important part. I wasn't quite sure if I'll win that. I still got a lot of influence here. This proposition, your prop Okay, uh, there's still some territory we can grab, so we will go ahead and do that. Okay, yeah, that's a decent deal. Uh, so, what's up in Laventa? Uh, stability looks fine. Are we done with Era Stars? I think we're done with Era Stars. Uh, unless I want one more Builder Star. Okay, so hold on. Four more population. Two more technologies and four more districts. So two more technologies would take four turns. Maybe a little bit faster if I reassign population to science.
uh, four more districts. I think that would take a bit too long. Unless I build four garrisons at the same time in four different cities. That might work. If it doesn't take too long. Okay, that's a district in two turns. So that works. Uh, that also counts as a district. So that also works. Yeah, I think we can get three more stars potentially. I wouldn't mind. Okay, let's get the stars. So there it is, that's one. So that was agrarian. I need two more districts and one more tech. So the tech will take two turns. And the districts should also be done in that time. Uh, yep, okay, so two more starts and then we can pick up our next culture. A plus five stability on garrison, yes. Absolutely. All right, let's grab more territory before he does. <laughs> let's see. 10, 14. Okay, that's good enough. Let me heal up. Yeah, he's already settling right here. Uh, no, that's a, a trade route. I probably won't get all of this, but I can try to get some. Hey, we can always go to war again in the future, right? Get out of here. The war is over, haven't you heard? He did not get the memo. Clearly. Oh, I'm out of gold. Fair enough. Uh huh. I thought I had unlimited gold. What a ripoff. Uh, more science, yes. So that's turn 100. I think we're doing okay-ish. Two hundred seventy seven, yeah, that's cheap. A plus on the farmer slot, yeah, let's grab that. So are we done or one more turn? Uh, one more turn, right. So one more district and one more tech. We'll have both. Okay, yeah, I'll have both. There it is. Got it. So two more starts and now we can pick up our next culture. So let's see what's available. Okay, uh, these guys are still available. That's one of the new cultures. I could go with that. I guess it's not a bad one. Uh, what else? Well, the Khmer are available. I don't want to be boring with the Khmer again, damn it. The Khmer are too good, man. Just like way too good. Uh, this was the previous DLC, right? A plus three industry on industry producing districts built on the river. 
Uh, I don't have a lot of rivers. Minus 50% cost reduction of adjacent districts. Okay. Interesting. And what was this then? Because these guys were not in release. Uh, was this a free update? Uh, I'm not seeing any information here. Oh, it's uh, an event. Okay, yeah, I see it. Oh, you could unlock them through a community event. I guess I got them unlocked automatically because I cheat. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I suppose we could go with that. I don't have a lot of rivers, so I think it could be utilized pretty well. Yeah, look at all these rivers around here. Most of the territories I got have a river. Almost all of them. Why are you still attacking me? Piss off, damn it. Seriously? Uh, pff, okay. Fine. Oh, it was a collective event. All right, fair enough. Okay, I guess he wants the outpost that I just started. I can't blame him. But I would have thought he had enough. Apparently not. Okay, two elephants. Uh, I might have some units in range. Yeah, okay, these guys are in range, so let's go join the party. There we go, done. Now I'll definitely win. Did I mention I had elephants though? Yeah, he'll probably kill something here. I can almost kill one, but not quite. Uh, almost. I don't want to leave the flag undefended, that's a bad idea. Okay, even if I get lucky, I will not kill it. He has 36 health. I can do up to 33 damage, so I will not kill him. Yeah, I love elephants when I have them myself, definitely true. If I don't, they're bullshit.
33 versus 37, 29 versus 33. Okay. I think he can kill something. Okay, uh, the javelin here, that's fine. Okay, I got this. Now kill the elephant. Get out of here. Can you die already? He's still not dead, damn it. Imagine if he had like eight of those. Fortunately, the AI rarely spams them too much, which is a good thing. Because really, they could just spam the elephants and they get one or two token melee units. Uh, okay, so... Oh yeah, let's get craftsmanship to unlock uh, the production buildings. Alright, so I only lost one javelin here. That's not a bad outcome. I kind of need to heal myself. <laughs> mm, yeah, that would be good. So this was supposed to be an outpost, but I need to wait one more turn. And this one's done. 930. Four hundred eighty. I probably want this attached to La Venta. Uh, La Venta also needs more stability. Anyway, so let's pick up our culture. I mean, normally the Khmer would be an obvious choice, but I don't want to be boring, so... Here, I have enough rivers to take advantage of flowing waters here. What's this unit again? Close combat unit. Each enemy unit destroyed in battle increases this unit's combat strength bonus. Okay. The bonus lasts until the battle is over or this unit is destroyed. Right. Oh, so they have like a cumulative bonus during a single fight. The more units they kill. Interesting. Alright, let's do it. Okay, I'm not taking 50 stability penalty, thank you very much. Let's check civics really quick. Yeah, okay, 683 for the next civic. I don't think I want to spend that just yet. Because attaching more territories is getting a bit expensive now. Wisdom and technical innovation from earlier eras. Yeah, nice outfit. Find new knowledge, and we immediately use it to find new ways to kill each other off. Greater empires build more powerful armies, but brute strength may be defeated by superior innovations. It is brains versus brawn, with ever richer cities as tempting spoils for the victor. Well, there we are. So, 4,000-ish fame. Uh, pink is number one right now. You should listen to this. You're... I'm already angry. Do not drive me to... <laughs> You're already angry? Hey, you won't talk to me, damn it! I didn't do anything! Oh, he gets plus 10 industry on the maker's quarter. Yeah, that's definitely cheating. He's a dirty cheater, that's what he is. Oh, 
Okay, we got at least one more territory we can grab. It would die. Oh yeah, that's good, more industry. Uh, so yeah, I have a decent amount of land and I can actually grab this land up here. Uh, just needs to send a unit to do that. Yeah, this is looking pretty decent. Uh, there's some island over here, I can probably get that later. Wait, can we embark yet? I don't even remember if I researched that. Yeah. Naval transport, so I can probably get this. You never know, there might be like oil over there or something like that. Oh yeah, I need stability, obviously. Here's the wonder. Now I need to build my actual wonder because I borrowed that one. So I think this spot will be fine because it needs to be next to the main plaza. It can't be just anywhere. So this is good. Uh, maybe in a different city. Although, yeah, I already placed it. Yeah, it's fine. Can I attach anything to this one? Uh, okay, not anymore. But we can spam districts once it's done. Okay, I'm not going to refuse this because I don't want to take minus 50 stability penalty. Obviously. Uh, okay. Honestly, settling on spot is probably fine. I could move in a little bit more, but I don't want him to attack me again with some bullshit elephants. So let's just grab this outpost right away and move in with some help if needed. Okay, healing up is cheap. There, just in case he moves in with more elephants to attack me, we'll have help. Okay, let's get the wonder really quick. Maybe I can claim another one once it's done, if there's anything still available. Yeah, that will only take three turns. Uh, almost two turns here. Uh, okay, I need more production. Come on, one turn. Oh, he's attacking me. Well, uh, I'm not surprised. Uh, reinforcements? Yes. What do you think you're doing? Does he not get bored attacking me constantly? Like, what the heck, bro? We literally just had a war. Okay, yeah, two bullshit elephants again. What a surprise! Nobody could have possibly seen this coming at all. Piss off! Okay, he will kill my javelin here, here. So, back up and attack him from the back. So, okay, I can get a rear attack here easily. There we go. And then move again. No, I can't move again. Never mind. Okay, that's fine. I might need to get more units, <laughs> you know, to defend myself better in case he brings a bigger army or something like that, which he might eventually. Yeah, only did 19 damage here. Okay, this is still a rear attack. That's good. Almost killed him. Okay, that will do.
the Aztecs are playing. Are they though? Are they? Oh, don't tell me this bug is still in the game where the combat just freezes. Oh, no, yep, he's doing something. He was thinking, clearly. All right, so kill the elephant. First rear attack. And another one. Got it, nice. So I'm going to lose this swordsman one way or the other, but I can still use him to get one more rear attack. Here. I mean, I might not if he attacks the unit on the flag. We'll find out. He has one elephant left. Okay. Uh, he didn't kill anything because he's silly. Silly AI. What was that even supposed to be? That was very strange. Come on. Can I get back here? No. Yes. Got him. Nice. Okay, if I attack him like this, we'll both lose a unit. So... I'll just chill on my flag. Okay, that's the end of the turn. Fair enough. Uh, hopefully he won't move in with reinforcements. Uh, I'm not moving back with my other dudes. Well, uh, I only need one to settle this territory. Oh wait, he's coming here as well with another bullshit stack. He's going to settle this. At least I think so. Okay. Fine. He's really getting on my nerves now, even though I literally just won a war against him. So uh, let's get Imperial Power and then War Summons. That's what I'm thinking. Yep, sounds good to me. So he might still kill my swordsman here, but he will be attacking from the low ground. Okay, yeah, we won. What is he doing? Yeah, he's going to settle this, I think. Well, alright. So let's stay here and defend for now. <laughs> I need to attach these territories before he attacks me again, because he can't attack me once they become part of the city, but he can keep attacking them while they are, like, independent. Okay, I need to think about this. Laventa still needs, inf uh, I mean, stability, but I'm working on that. What can I actually attach where? Okay, this city looks better. 480. Okay, let's go with that. That's an era star. 40% stability. Now I can grab a garrison down here, like somewhere in this general vicinity. Right next to his border, in case we go to war again. Or should I say when we go to war again? Why it's pretty obvious we will. And that's a bit expensive. Probably worth it, though. Okay, almost 1000 for dice. More mercury, 400. Okay, let's grab one more here. So you guys chill. Oh, 
Okay, 1000. 1000. Yeah, I can't attach to La Venta yet because stability is a problem. I still got this territory here. So I'm finishing a wonder here, which will give me plus 40 stability. I suppose I can attach this. And there's still an island up here. I might be able to grab that later. That's kind of the plan. Hmm. Okay, that's good. There, we got the pyramid. Uh, let's check wonders again. So... Unlocks the repeatable constructible in the city where it is built. Okay, no idea what that means. That's new, right? I'm pretty sure that's new. I guess I could check it out. A plus 5% additional fame gain bonus multiplier. Uh, that is kind of nice, and I probably don't want the AI to get that. Okay, what the heck, let's claim that one. Why not? Uh, can we claim any cities here? Oh, uh, pink got this. Uh, that's slightly annoying. Uh, I might have to go to war with him later over that. Uh, he doesn't like me regardless. Yeah, stole my independent people. Damn right he did. I'm not sure if I want to go to war with them yet. I'm a little bit out of position right now. Obviously. Anyway, let's attach this to the capital and build a few garrisons on the border. If I do actually decide to go to war. I don't want that city because it has two strategic resources. Here's something we can grab as well. Okay, let's grab a quick unit. Yeah, swordsman is fine. And then I also need infrastructure. 29 food for animal barns. Okay, this is good. Wait, where is he going? He embarked, so he did not settle this. Okay. Maybe he's just exploring, that's possible. I will still grab this land. So where do I want to build this? Oh, maybe in La Venta, actually. That's not a terrible idea. La Venta could use some help with stability. Okay, why the heck not? Let's build it in Laventa. Won't take long, and we'll check out what exactly that constructible is, because the description doesn't exactly tell me much. Alright, I will grab the islands down here, and there are some luxuries down here. Silk is good, silk is very good. Anything with production is good. You should listen to this. Uh, open borders. Interesting. Uh, yeah, okay, fine. Uh, that's blow. So he's up here. Uh, 
Okay, I need the 300. <laughs> I'm too influence short. All right. Okay, he's moving away with his elephants. So let's grab this right away before he changes his mind and comes back. Embark. Uh, food minus uh, industry unit cost. Faith. I'll actually get food. Okay, that's blow, that's fine. Let's just chill over here for a bit. Okay, so it doesn't really matter where I'm going to settle here. This will be attached to the capital. Oh yeah, strategic resource, that's good, obviously. A one turn to finish the wonder. Got it. So let's check that out really quick. Okay, stability is still low. Yeah, this is it. Plus 2% additional fame gain bonus per number of this. Oh, it's a ceremony. It unlocks a public ceremony that gives you plus 2% fame for every time you finish it. Okay, that is kind of nice. That is pretty nice. It's also pretty expensive and the cost will only escalate, but that is kind of nice. I definitely wouldn't want like a family AI to have that. Uh, definitely not. Okay, so I need stability here still, at least a little bit. Yeah, city watch and then probably walls. It's already moving up, so it's actually not as important. Let's get walls first. Oh, uh, Pink already claimed this. He claimed it literally right now on this turn. Oh, now he really pissed me off. Uh, that's definitely going to be the next war. Uh, okay, yeah, he pissed me off now. That's really annoying. Okay. <sighs> Whatever, he'll pay for it. Hook up the horses. Okay, plus 30 to industry, water mill, definitely. Oh yeah, look at this shit. Plus 28, wait. Plus 15 from synergies on adjacent exploitations. Wait. Is it all because of my bonus? Uh, where is it? Yeah, yeah, here. So, wait. I thought that this is just like plus three flood for a district if you build it on a river. So why is this plus 28 here? Why is this plus 15 from... Okay, I'm actually not sure. What's at the chase in here? Alright, that's the pyramid. Okay, I'm not exactly going to complain about plus 28 from a simple uh, maker quarter. We'll grab that, obviously. Plus 18, plus 21. But I lost some faith here. Here, okay, that's good. Uh, so, new wonders. 
Uh, I could still get from Notre Dame. Maybe I will. Honestly, I see no reason not to. This is only like four turns worth of my influence income right now. Might as well claim it for faith, right? I mean, for fame. Okay, tier three. Uh, so let's see. Influence on the commons quarter. Money. Movement. Science per alliance. More industry on the main plaza. I might actually get the movement, because... Yogi's movement can be really, really nice. Yeah, let's get the movement, especially if I plan more wars, which I think I do. That's going to help a lot. Uh, share maps. Yeah, okay. What do you know? Okay, he knows a lot. Uh, so now I basically have everything. Pink doesn't seem to have a whole lot, to be honest. Yeah, the next war will definitely be with Pink. Uh, he's second in fame now. Green is the lead. Who's Green? Perhaps. Uh, okay, Ghana, Buddy Valera. Fair enough. So there's Imperial Power. And now we can grab... Uh, not Feudalist, Ward Summons for Pikemen and Crossbowmen. I'll need that if I want to go to war. So, well, I guess I'm living with the swordsman because he stole my islands. He'll pay for it. Uh, okay, Notre Dame. Let's spread out the wonders a little. So, checking stability. Oh yeah, this city here. I can still attach more stuff. Okay, let's build it here. That works. Good enough. More people on science. Uh, Laventa looks much better now. It could still use more production. Okay, so we're third in fame now. That's definitely much better. Only two AIs are like significantly ahead of me in fame now. And I already plan a war with one of them. I'm listening. Uh, okay, that's blow. I don't want a war with him, so I, I know. can just try to stay friendly for now. We still got these neutrals in the middle. Uh, I can already assimilate them, but then I will be at 6 out of 3 city cap. So before I do that, I kind of need to increase my city cap. So I would need theology. Basically. I kind of really want ward summons first. I don't think I can get more city cap from civics. I already have uh, the plus one city cap civic. Yeah. I can probably afford to take the penalty. It's going to be a pretty silly city though, and I will not be able to absorb it for a while. On the other hand, if I wait too long... Well, someone might grab it, but I just need to keep an eye on them, if they get enough influence to steal it. So let's just keep it like this, keep it open. Mm, trade route blocked, okay. Which city is starving? Oh, this one. Uh, okay, no, you guys are fine. Eat less! <laughs> then you won't waste the food. Alright, send this guy west so that I can build a garrison on the border. Okay, Era Star. Uh, so, what's the next uh, new culture? Let's check. Wait, is it the Inca? Uh, 
Yeah, it's the it's the Inca. So what do they do? Uh, plus fifty percent road movement speed, plus free food on districts per adjacent mountain. Terrace farm allows construction of new districts on adjacent tiles. Right. Plus two vision range, plus free food per adjacent mountain. Minus twenty five percent territory. Attachment cost on adjacent territories. Uh, the territory attachment cost is an interesting one. Uh, anti cavalry unit. Imperial bastions. This unit is much stronger when fighting from high ground and fortified positions. Yeah, so you need to have a lot of mountains to really take advantage of them, I guess. I have some. Not sure if it's enough to justify it. There are mountains here, and there's a single mountain here. And more mountains here. Well, I got some. I don't know if it's enough to really justify it. And not that I'm picking just yet. Yeah, we'll have to see once we actually get there. Hey, wait, hold on. Minus 25% population consumption in all cities. Plus 5 food per other chance and exploitation. Uh, ranged unit. Bonus combat strength against damaged targets. Okay. And doesn't use any strategic resources. Uh, okay, that's a nice unit. Bonus against wounded units and doesn't use any strategic resources. Okay, just chill here. Yeah, finish the wonder. Wait, did I pick uh, their next culture yet? No, they didn't. Okay, I thought they did. No, they are both in medieval. Okay, finish Notre Dame in one turn. There we go. So, more fame, that's 5,000. Okay, he settled the island. That had to cost him a lot, because it's nowhere close to his actual territory. I see why he settled it. Because it has three unknown strategic resources. A sneaky bastard. Yeah, I see what he did. All right, all right. I suppose I can probably take it in the future, depending on what resources we're talking about. You are not welcome here. Not now. Not ever. Okay, I still need to like prepare an actual army before I declare war on him, but I can probably make some demands. I cannot guarantee your security. I find your because I plan to go to war with him. I just need to get ready. I need to actually move everything west, get some better units, finish war summons to get some crossbowmen, and also attach all these territories so that purple will not be able to attack them. And that's still going to cost me a lot of influence. Uh, however, uh, we are three hours in, almost, and I need to get some food. So I think that's going to be enough for today. I will probably continue this tomorrow. Possibly around the same time as today, maybe a little bit earlier. So yeah, thanks for coming everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will likely see you all tomorrow. So thanks again for coming and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.